In today's video, I'm going to show you guys levitation photography. This is the finished product of my friend falling off a six foot ladder. So you need to take one photo with someone standing on like a ladder or a stool or something you can remove. And then you'll also need to take another photo of nothing. You'll need a tripod for this. Because if you move too much, if you move, then it won't be good. You can tell the lighting is different. I waited a little too long to do it. And you can also tell on the gravel on the lower right hand side. Okay, so open up the files, the first file by right clicking it on your desktop and selecting open with GIMP. As soon as that file has loaded, you're going to go to File, upper left hand side in GIMP, and then go down to Open as Layers. Now you're going to select the file that doesn't have the bucket or the person in it, just the blank background of the foreground. So as soon as that's loaded, you're in the wrong spot. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to, because you need the person on the top layer. So you need to go over to your Windows tab, click on Windows Channels Paths if it's not already open, the one that's just moving. But if it is open, that's good. Okay, uh, Dragging it does not work. I thought it did. So you're going to use these little arrow buttons, and that just changed the spots of the layers. Um, if you never worked with layers, think of the top of your monitor looking down. So as you can see, I'm moving the eye, so now you can see it. And you can tell the lighting is really off. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need to do is you're going to need to, after you get this, your setup good, you're going to go over to Layer, Transparency, Add Alpha Channel. Adding Alpha Channel is going to allow transparency because basically we're going to be erasing anything we want in this top photo and it's going to be seeing the clear thing on the background. We're going to use the Rectangle tool just to delete all this. So select the area and then hit, once you get it good, I was trying to chop off the wing on accident, then you're going to hit the Delete button on your keyboard. Um, and now you can see I removed the bottom layer so you can see this is just gone completely. I tried, I faded, I didn't do this last time, but this could save you a lot of time if you need to do a lot of fading in. Then you do select none so you can select the next spot. You can really tell my lighting's different quite a bit. Okay, so we're going to take the erase tool now and you're just going to make the brush bigger and then you can make the scale a little bigger and now you can just erase the ladder. It's pretty sweet. Um, you, you, because the is so off, you're going to have to really fade it in. Time you spend on the photo when you're getting close to the edges, the better quality photo you're going to get. Okay, so now we're going to go over to, we're going to be using the scissor tool. I think I like to call it a smart scissor. Um, because it's pretty sweet. It, it figures out the darker pattern. So you just click every time you want, uh, like, a, like a key point. And you click in the middle and drag it over if you want it a little more complicated. So complete the circle and then right get close to the where you started and then you'll see like two circles go entwine each other and once you see that click and then you're gonna click in the middle and now you just select that area. So now you hit the delete button on your keyboard and you just deleted that. Go up to select none so you can go off to your next thing you need to select. The next tool is the magic wand. For magic wand you're just gonna hit whatever you want like the color and then hit the delete button and then select none. Okay, for saving the file, you're going to go to File, Save As, and we're going to add dash L for levitation, and we're just going to be shaving as a JPEG. Okay, select Save, and then hit Export, saying that JPEG can't handle transparency, and that's okay, because we're all done with our photo. And then you're going to change the quality to 100%, and then it just saved wherever you told to save. Check out this sweet photo that I took, and I showed you guys how to do it. Just click here on the screen, and I'll take you to the video on how to do this sweet black and white photo with some color. This is Matthew from MatthewRitchie.com. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and like this video. Also, check out these other videos. Thanks for watching.